fact, I had the privilege of touring the Boston public school system's infrastructure. And they made the decision to not use the cloud. And so they have a building and on one of the floors, they have a server room and the server room's the size of a, I don't know, small one bedroom apartment maybe. And in that they have all the infrastructure for the entire school system, email, individual sites, anything you could possibly think of and got to talk to them. They're like, yeah, we have an upfront capital expenditure, right? Like, of course, but there's all of the perks that come along with that. For them, it's a budget, like a budget allocation. They only get budget so often, right? And so they were able to build out a very nice server room in a normal building. We're not talking some data warehouse somewhere that serves every single user across hundreds of thousands, right? Off of this like on-prem solution. This is this is this is the way that we get away from runaway cost, all this extra fluff that keeps getting tacked on, on and on and on. And I think you're in the beginning can take advantage of these cloud providers because you don't want to be changing hard drives in your your pajamas at three o'clock in the morning. But at some point the the juice might just not be worth the squeeze.